Hi and welcome back to your MES e-lesson, I'm Natalie. Now that you understand the concept of asking future questions with did in a business setting, let's really practice. Before we begin, let's review the conjugation of did that you learned in video A. Please repeat after me and remember to focus on your pronunciation and conversation speeds. Please repeat. Did I take any business trips overseas in the last few months? Did you take any business trips overseas in the last few months? Did Ben take any business trips overseas in the last few months? Did Sarah take any business trips overseas in the last few months? Did we take any business trips overseas in the last few months? Did they take any business trips overseas in the last few months? Great, now let's start practicing. Please read and listen first and then ask me the full question. I discussed with our client match those on this spreadsheet. Please ask me about the dollar amounts. Good job. Please repeat. Did the dollar amounts you discussed with your client match those on this spreadsheet? Let's learn the expression for to take action to pull the trigger. Exhibit the ability to pull the trigger when faced with a difficult decision. Ask me about Roseanne. Please repeat. Did Roseanne exhibit the ability to pull the trigger when faced with a difficult decision? Let's learn the expression for the specifics, the nuts and bolts. Appear confused when he examined the nuts and bolts of the project. Ask me about Tom. Excellent. Please repeat. Did Tom appear confused when he examined the nuts and bolts of the project? Predict this project will come in ahead of schedule and under budget. Ask me. Please repeat. Did you predict this project would come in ahead of schedule and under budget? Let's learn the expression for available, on the table. Understand that the original offer was still on the table. Ask me about the clients. Good job. Please repeat. Did the clients understand that the original offer was still on the table? Let's learn the expression for the beginning, square one. Expect that the inability to secure a business loan would put us back to square one. Please ask me.
Very nice. Please repeat. Did you expect that the inability to secure a business loan would put you back to square one? Let's learn the expression for smaller text on a paper that contains very important information, the fine print. Carefully read the fine print of the contract he was presented during our discussion. Ask me about Bill. Excellent. Please repeat. Did Bill carefully read the fine print of the contract he was presented during your discussion? Reorganise the business plan in order to comply with new government policy. Ask me. Good. Please repeat. Did you reorganise the business plan in order to comply with new government policy? Let's learn the expression for to become bored, to grow tired. Get the impression Max had grown tired of his job. Ask me. Good. Please repeat. Did you get the impression Max had grown tired of his job? Read that big long memo from Frank about the new form for submitting expenses. Ask me. Please repeat. Did you read that big long memo from Frank about the new form for submitting expenses? Please practice with this video until you are able to ask questions fluently. Remember, you can always practice more by using the vocabulary to make your own questions. When you're ready, move on to video C to test your progress. I'm Natalie and I look forward to seeing you next time. Good luck.